Uh, so this question is sort array by increasing frequency. So giving an integer array sorted and then in the increasing order. So if multiple multiple value have the same frequency, sort in decreasing orders. So it's going to be big to small if they have the same frequency. So imagine right here, two, three, one, three, two, right? Three have two times, two have two times. So you want to, you know, um, set your, uh, you know, three before two, basically, right? So uh, this question is supposed to be easy, but it's a little bit challenging to think about the efficient algorithm. So what you have to do is uh, you want to know like, how many frequency you have for each integer, right? So int represent the, you know, one, two, and three. And the frequency represent how many times it occur in the in in the array, and then later on we need to use the priority priority queue just in case, and then we want to know like I have all all of my key from the map, so you have a map map for sure. I have uh, I add all of the key into priority queue, and then I'm going to sort based on the frequency from the map. Okay, and um, I just keep adding, keep adding, you know, and into a new new list array, and this will be the solution. So yeah, all right. So first thing is create a hash map integer integer map equal to new hash map for in num equal to num. I mean, for nums to nums, you know, map up to num map up get or default num comma zero plus one so it actually um you know keep on track of the frequency so if the nums is in the map you add one if the num you does not inside the map you you know you're starting from zero and then you add one so this is how it is right. and then we need a priority queue and I need to put an integer, right? P2 equal to new priority queue. All right, so I can I can actually you know make my sort right here. So I'm gonna say a comma b. So and it has to be a comparable, right? So two value if a two value two value are the same, you, you need to a comma b right here. So I'm gonna say if my map dot get a equal to map dot get b. So what does this mean? Is my frequency for letter, sorry, for integer A and uh, frequency for integer B, if they are the same, I'm gonna say from big to small, so descending. Else, they are going to be remain the same. You, you know, map up get A minus map up get B. So it's gonna be what? Based on the frequency, right? Uh, Alright, so yeah. So if they are the same, you know, the key should be what? Descending order. If they are not, you know, if they are not the same frequency, you want to say, oh, smallest to, you know, largest, right? So I'm going to say pq.add of the map.keyset. So what does this mean? Basically, the adding all of the key, key, key in my map to the pq. And how do I add it? Just using this, uh, this algorithm, right? So while my uh, PQ is not empty, right? I will traverse, but how do I add it? I need to in result equal to new in, and the length is going to be the same, right? It will still have the same return in array. So while PQ uh, is not empty, I need to pull, right? And I will have to have an index for this guy, right? So I will say in the i equal to zero, something like this. And then I'm going to say in val equal to, you know, pq top pull. So it will be a key from the map, and then in frequency equal to map dot get val, right? So I still haven't added into the result array, right? You want to say for int j equal to zero, j less than frequency j plus plus and then you add the result ai plus plus equal to uh, that right so 
let me see yeah that's on it so yeah I pass the test case so let's look at this this is a space this is a space this is also a space right so space is actually all of n you add every single nums into the map into the pq into the in array so the time is a little bit tricky so here it is all of n right all of n for the full loop this is all of one right so all of n this is all of one as well but if you're using a pq like you have to know it's unlocked and like you're sorting right so it's unlocked but in this time we only sort the key right so it's going to be k log k right key k represent key of the map and then n represent the length of the nums so this is k log k and this is uh, sorry, this is um, all of k, right? So the time and space is going to be this, right? Priority cube yeah, is my title. Okay, give this time, time and space. So time k, k, space, all of them. All right, so a little bit improvement for this one. If I want to say i equals zero and pq does not, and uh, it's not empty, I would say okay. um, for in i equals zero and my um, end will be the pq is not empty and I'll actually copy this and come over here and then I don't increment my result uh, index over here I increment my result every single iteration so it should be okay right let me see yeah something I still pass the test case, so it should be straightforward enough. Time and space are the same, but this is more shorter. And I would say, depending on personality, like if you feel it's readable, then readable, right? All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.